Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing something that I personally am very excited about. I'm sharing my minivan and car organization hacks. Now these are personally, or these are things that personally work for me. I wanna point out that I am aware that it may not be the most popular opinion that minivans are the best thing since sliced bread, but that is my opinion. Um, when I got my minivan, my sister drove it to the grocery store <laughs> and she said she was embarrassed to get out of the car because people would see that she was driving my minivan. Now I will point out that she has one herself now, um, but yeah, when I got my van, I wanted to shout from the rooftops that I am a proud minivan owner. And in fact, I'm like, hey, when my kids are like long gone and grown, I am still, I'm gonna be one of those 80 year olds driving my minivan because I can't imagine going back to a regular car after this. That may not be true. Before we got our minivan, which was about almost a year ago, um, I had a Nissan Murano. And I don't know, all my life, my cars have just, especially, not all my life, especially since I became a, mo a mom, my cars have been just like trashed. I would clean them and the next hour, just like my house, I would clean it and the next hour, you have no idea that you just worked so long on cleaning your house or your car. So you all know how it is, um, especially for moms. And I don't even wanna say that because there I'm sure are some dads that drive their kids around, you know, as, as much as moms do. But anyways, you know if you've got kids in your car all the time, there's gonna be sticky stuff all over the seats that you have no idea where it came from, or there's gonna be a melted crayon in the back seat, or there's gonna be juice everywhere, or milk that you're like, what is that horrible smell in my car? And then you find like a milk cup un up under your seat. You know what I'm talking about. So these were my hacks. When I got this van, I said, you know what? I'm so tired of being embarrassed to drop my kids off at school and like the principal or something come in to open the door, or the teachers, and you're like, no, no, really, you don't have to help my kids out of the car. Please, just please, no, don't look at my car. You know, you know how that is. So I was so sick of being embarrassed of my car. So when we got this van, I was like, okay, I am going to make some changes. And like the first month or so that I made these changes, I thought, oh, how long is this gonna last? Well, we're going on almost a year and I still stick to these. And so I just wanted to share. So hack number one, get a trash bag and put it in your car, and this is what I've done. I got a little gift bag at Target, and I tie a little loop in the handle, and I got a like command strip hook, and I put the hook on the car and put the bag over it. So now I have a designated trash can, instead of putting it in the side of my door or just thrown randomly throughout the car, we have a designated trash bag. And I don't repurchase over and over a bunch of gift bags. What I do is get grocery bags and line that little gift bag. And then, you know, when it gets full, you just take the little grocery bag out. So that has saved my life. I have, I don't have trash anywhere in my car. So get a trash bag, a designated trash bag that works for you in a place that works for you easily to put your trash at. Hack number two, get a Swiffer duster and keep it in your glove compartment. Occasionally I'll be sitting somewhere and I just, you know, you see that dust everywhere or the little bitty crumbs that get down in your cup holders or whatever, the dust is everywhere. And I'll grab that Swiffer duster and just do a quick little wipe down. It just keeps it clean. It gets the little, you know, you can knock the little crumbs out of the cup holders before you vacuum. And it's so simple and it's just so convenient right there in your glove compartment. Hack number three. Keep the essentials in your car. Now, I say the essentials because these essentials are gonna be different for everybody. These are my personal essentials that I keep in the car. I keep baby wipes. I keep a pen because, you know, um, when my daughter was in daycare, it never failed. I would pull up to the daycare and be like, oh, I gotta pay the daycare today. I don't have a pen and I didn't feel like going, I wanted to go in with like a written check already. So I started keeping a pen in my glove compartment. I keep a little travel size bottle of Febreze and um, some tissues and some gum. Those are my kind of just minimal essentials that I like to have in my van. There again, your essentials are gonna be different for you. Find out what you kind of are wishing on a daily day or day to day basis. Oh, I wish I had a, some baby wipes or I wish I had this. Put them in the car and keep them stocked. Hack number four. This one is something that I have never heard before and it is something that I'm so happy that I thought of. I ordered off of Amazon 
some little emesis bags. So the little bags that you throw up into at the emergency room. The little blue bags that have the plastic circle thing and the bag goes down and can hold a lot. Um, there's nothing worse than your child saying, Mommy, my stomach really hurts. And you're in the car and you're driving and they're like, I just don't feel good. Blah. You know, and it's like, oh no like and you have to pull over and there's throw up all in their car seat and you can't ever get it out of every crevice of their car seat like it, there's no way so and then your car smells like throw up for the rest of eternity now the fact that I have these emesis bags in there does not guarantee that I'm never going to have that that experience ever get in my life but we recently went to Florida and my one of my kids was saying my stomach really hurts and I thought oh gosh not again can we ever go on a trip without one of you throwing up please anyway so I had those bags though and I have a ton of them I think I ordered 25 because that's what it came with so I have them kind of randomly scattered throughout the van so at any time we can grab them so I gave it gave it to her we did not end up needing it but I had it if I needed it and I was so thankful for that because it's better than the grocery bags which may or may not have a little hole in the bottom or you know that just you drop it and then it all spills out to the side um, these are contained and they're made for that so they were not very expensive on Amazon I'll try to link them down below hack number five I like to have some coloring supplies in my car but side tip no crayons because they will melt like I mentioned and you will find a melted crayon in your car trust me you will find a melted crayon in your car. I don't allow markers, I only allow color pencils. So we have a bag, and in the bag we keep the colored pencils and coloring books, stickers, whatever they want, it's, it's in their bag. And then I went to, I think, Hobby Lobby and got them some little, um, little lap trays that they can put, there. there's little pockets in there so they can put their color pencils as they're coloring and their stickers and their coloring books, and then it gives them kind of like a tray, a tabletop to color on. They can also eat on these if we're on a road trip. So these were very inexpensive and such a great tip. I love having those in my car for the girls if they get bored, you know, to just pop out stuff. And they color with them almost every time we're in the car. Hack number six, utilize your back storage space. Now this may be different depending on what kind of car, what kind of van you have. In my back storage space, I have this little bag hung up that I keep just extra things, DVDs, their DVD players if they're not hooked up. I've got more of those wonderful Emesis bags back there. I told you they're, they're everywhere. And then I got one of these three like t sectioned off little things for my groceries and then a side bag for frozen food. And it's awesome. Every time we go grocery shopping or just shopping, you know, you can kind of separate the bags. And then I wanted to point out also, especially if you have a van, you may, no may, there, it's possible that nobody has ever pointed this out, but look for these things that I'm showing you right now. Little hooks. Those are for grocery bags. Like, so for instance, if you put all your groceries back there and you want to separate your eggs or separate your bread, hang them up on those hooks and they'll keep them kind of separate from the rest of your stuff and allow you to not have them crushed. So if you don't have those hooks, if you have a car, um, get some of those, I think they're called carabiner hooks. I can't remember. I, I know I'm saying that wrong, but the little hooks, I'll try to show a picture or something in here, but you can get the hooks and hook them on the back of your headrest for the same thing for those, the bread or your eggs, things that you don't want smushed with your groceries. Tip number seven. I don't know if your kids are this way or maybe just everyone in your family is this way, but you know, I have a family of four and it's about impossible to keep all four of us comfortable. I'm freezing, my husband's hot because I freeze us all out. My One of my daughters is hot in the back seat, one of my daughters is cold in the back seat. So for the kids that are hot, you turn the air on. For the kids that are cold, I keep blankets in a tote, along with some little neck pillows if we're on a long trip. So I, I, at all times I have the little neck pillows and I have at least two blankets in the car if one of them wants to cover up and get comfy or you know if one of them's cold so you're not hearing I'm hot and I'm cold you know you've always got blankets for the cold kid and then the air conditioner for the hot kid hack number eight and this one I am aware may not be for everyone but we have a car wash membership where you pay I don't know how much it's not very much but so much per month and you just go and get unlimited car washes at those little car wash places that you see with the free vacuum cleaners outside so when my husband first said oh we should get a membership I kind of rolled my eyes and I was like who gets a membership at a car wash who could go to the car wash enough to get your money's worth for that 
um, this person right here can go to the car wash enough. Since I got my van, I've been obsessed with keeping it clean, like I said. And so I love that every time I pass that car wash, I can just pop in there, get a car wash real fast, use those vacuum cleaners because those vacuums are so much better than the ones that I have at home. I can take the time, I can vacuum out the car really quickly, and the more you vacuum, the easier it is every time. So it literally takes me less than five minutes to pop in there, vacuum real quickly. And then the beauty of it is I can empty my trash while I'm there and throw it into their trash instead of piling it into my trash at home. So I pop in there real quickly. As you can see, the girls just kind of hang out in their seats. If they're not with me, I'll take their seats out and vacuum underneath them, but I don't have to every time because I go in there so often and go through the car wash and vacuum. So that again, may not be a hack for everyone, but I love having that car wash membership. Another few little tips I'll mention that I'm not gonna list as hacks, but just a couple things. If you have older kids, my girls are five and 10. Um, one of the biggest things, they always are like, hey, can we bring these toys in the car on the way to the grocery store? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And then you end up like a week later and you're like, how did every toy in the house now get into the car, you know, and they always leave it. So we have a rule um, and that rule is the toys you bring into the van, you will be bringing back inside and putting them where they go. If you restrict with that, you're not gonna find every toy in your house in your van. So I try to stick to that rule. Another rule that I have, which we do break sometimes, and this again, this just works for me, it may not work for you, is that they're only allowed to drink water in the car. Um, there are so many spills all the time. And number one, it gets them drinking water. So that's a good thing. And number two, if it spills, it's just water. You just clean it up really easily. And especially if you have light colored seats like I do. So that's another rule that I most of the time follow. Another thing, they have their headphones in the car and we always try to wrap them up. That's another rule. They need to wrap them up and put them in the little basket or little container, you know, the little holder behind the seat. They know that they need to wrap them up each time and put them away because if not, they were doing things like just, they were all on the floor. And I can't tell you how many headphones have been broken because they trample into the van and they're on the floor and they step on them. And I'm like, I mean, are we made of money to buy these headphones every week? No. So they now have a rule that if it gets, if we find it on the floor, they're ours. So, and they can't listen to their tablets and stuff in the car without their headphones. So no headphones, no tablets. So they, they wrap them up and put them away. So those are my final tips on how I personally keep my van clean. And I mean, I'm proud now to drop my kids off at school. And of course now I feel like nobody ever looks into my van because of course that's just Murphy's Law. So, or maybe I just don't recognize it because now I don't care for the world to see inside my van. <laughs> so I'm telling you I had some terror moments drop at drop off time at school and pick up time that I was like, no, 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 let me just, let me just get out and bring you my child instead of you looking into my car. So no more, gone are those days. So I'm so happy that these tips are work, that work so well for me. I hope that some of these tips you found helpful. Please don't forget to like this video if they were helpful for you. Please comment down below. Tell me some of your favorite hacks to keep your car or your van clean. And please don't forget to subscribe to watch more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.